We're going to get one in Utah, the path of totality of a total solar eclipse. But for now, we have to enjoy the 50%. And this is what it looked like. Again, seeing some of those photos stream on into the Weather Center. Zachary Todd with the credit. He did deal with a little bit of cloud cover. So it really depends on where you were for the event yesterday afternoon. But there you go, that crescent sun, some clouds and... Sometimes that actually helps to get a clear shot. Thanks for sending that in, Zachary. Hey, we're checking in with the snowiest resorts, not only in the United States, but North America. Yes, Alaska uh, clocking in with 706 inches up there in Alaska. They've been getting hammered. 612 for Alta. Brighton in third place with 554 and over 500 inches for Snowbird, Solitude, even Timberline out in Oregon. Picking up 504, Sugar Bowl, California, taking the seventh place there in the high 400s. So it has been a snowy season for the mountaintops, the valleys. We've gotten a lot of rain this season. Uh, low pressure now to the south, and we're watching high pressure that's going to create for a beautiful week, folks. I mean, look as this thing nudges in. I did mention a little disturbance passing to the north in the northern Rockies that could allow for a couple more clouds along the Cache Valley area, Bear Lake, southwest Wyoming. That's it. Now, into tomorrow, we get even drier conditions, more stable as that high pushes inland here into Thursday. Friday, we could sneak a little bit of moisture into the state of Utah, so maybe some clouds and some mountain showers. But really, that is it, folks. Nothing to complain about this week. We're seven degrees warmer than yesterday across central Utah. Down to the south, azure blue skies, 56 in Panguitch, pushing 80 out in Mesquite. All right, northern Utah, southern Idaho. There you go, along the Idaho border. You can see a couple more clouds, maybe a, a light showers possible. But all in all, dry for the Wasatch Front, upper 50s. That's going to feel a lot better than yesterday's low 50s. St. George, we've got 72 climbing to 79 tomorrow. Then it's 80s for a pair. 84 to 87 Thursday and Friday. Near 80 Saturday, dialing it back to low 70s. That's about where we should be for this time of year as we get into next Monday. Wasatch Front, 58 to 63 to 71 to 77. I mean, the forecast has been trending warmer. Very, very nice as we close out the work week and even into the weekend, Amy. So uh, great weather for you there. Yeah, I like it. You're going to like this.